Now hold on, I know what you're thinking. You one crazy ass but let me just give you my list before you start casting stones. Everybody knows Mortal Kombat 1 on the Nintendo Switch has its share of problems. You don't say! But there are some people, like me, who've been enjoying MK1 on the Switch. So let me give you my personal top three reasons that you should get Mortal Kombat 1 on the Nintendo Switch. Reason number one that you should get Mortal Kombat 1 on the Nintendo Switch is that Mortal Kombat 1 is a genuinely fun game. There are some things about the overall game that I don't like, but I'll get into those in my review of MK1 which will be up in a few days. Even on the Switch version with its many glaring issues, I've been having a really good time in training mode, learning Liu Kang and other characters, and even the online has been really fun despite some matches having some downright awful frame rates. On the other hand, online matches can also be really smooth, I've already got over 200 matches is played and can honestly say that only a handful of them were completely unplayable. So if you want a good fighting game on the Switch with a big player base, then Mortal Kombat 1 is a good bet. Reason number 2 is for you Sub-Zero fans. In the current version of Mortal Kombat 1 on the Nintendo Switch, Sub-Zero is not nerfed. In other words, Sub-Zero in the Switch version still does the same level of damage that he did in the beta. In the day one patch for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox, Sub-Zero was nerfed beyond recognition from what he was in the beta, and he no longer does as much damage as he used to. So I know some people are really big Sub-Zero fans and might get this version of the game just for that and never update it, though I don't know why. Weird. Weird. This will of course 100% be updated in the next patch though, but I think they're waiting to get all the other issues with the Switch version sorted before they start messing around with the nerfs and buffs. Reason number 3 is that like Mortal Kombat 11 before it, Mortal Kombat 1 on the Nintendo Switch will, according to the creator of the series, Ed Boon, absolutely be fixed and will be supported along with the other versions of the game. MK11 on the Switch received all the same DLC and everything from the other versions, so we can expect the same for Mortal Kombat 1. Now this is speculation on my part, but I do have faith that Netherrealm will fix a lot of the problems currently facing the Switch version, but I don't think much can be done about the graphics. I think it's obvious that Warner Brothers rushed the Switch version out when it should have been left in the oven for probably another few months. And finally, and most obviously, reason number 4 to get Mortal Kombat 1 on the Nintendo Switch is the portability that it offers. You ever been practicing that one really hard combo? and you almost have it down, but all of a sudden you realize you had one taco too many, and now those tacos are trying to come out, uh? you can just take your Switch with you and keep practicing. I'm just kidding, don't do that. That's nasty. If you take your Switch with you while you're taking this shit, you're nasty, and you should feel bad. Well that's gonna be it for this video, I'm gonna have some advanced Scorpion and Johnny Cage combo videos coming up, along with some online matches I had against an insanely good Nitara player. This guy's Nitara combos were absolutely nuts, so don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more combo tutorials, online matches, and video game news. I'm Switch Played. done. Wait, I'm recording aren't I?